I prefer football manager because it's real. Because it's really like real life. When I play football manager, I'm not saying, okay, I'm, not, I'm just playing. It's just, it's just a game. It's not just a game. <laughs> it's, something, it's something real. I'm Fabrizio Romano. I work about uh, transfers in uh, football. It's my passion, it's my job, it's my work. So really day by day I try to, to have my sources, to have new contacts, to use my contacts to get news, to provide news. I think um, for me it's important to feel and to live in the transfer world, not just as a race. I know many people see this like just a race, so they say, ah, Fabrizio, you have been first, you have been second sometimes, so it's impossible to be always first. And my mission, my goal is to be correct, always. So obviously, if you can be correct and first on the news, it's fantastic, it's the best feeling, so I love it. But I really love also to be correct for the people. So I think people appreciate that I always share something when I am 100% sure that the deal is real, that the talks are real. I am passionate in, in everything I do, so when I get some stories on deadline day and not just on deadline day, I celebrate like as I'm scoring a goal because really I, I celebrate when I score it and sometimes when I don't have an update and I can't control some situation, I get really angry. I spend like, well, yeah, people around me, my friends, people I know, and they say, why are you are not speaking with me like by one hour? Because I'm just focused on what's happening. I want the news. I live for the news. I'm obsessed by the news. So that's why I, I celebrate when I have the news. When I do the here we go, and it's correct for me, it's like celebrating really after a goal because I feel, I feel something special. I can't explain it with my words because it's really something special. I hope you can see by my face. It's different case by case, club by club, director by director and manager by manager because you have also manager who say I want my top target or no one. So let's take one player or nothing. And this is mentality of some manager. But I know people, as I told you, working on different players like six or seven on the same position also to create problems to the other club. You can have also crazy situations with clubs saying, okay, we want this player, we are working for this player, and two days, three days later, they are moving on another one just because it's an opportunity on, on the transfer window. So it's part of the game, but I think it's just also why transfer world is fantastic. Today you have an idea and tomorrow you have another one. It's, it's crazy, it's a jungle, and I really love this jungle also because of this kind of situation. So I, when I speak with people like agents, they say, it's crazy, this club told us they are going to sign the player. So it was done. We were ready to complete the move and they were moving to another player. They are angry sometimes with the clubs, but it's part of the game also for the managers. Play day is my jungle. I always say like this. Uh, I love it because in Italy is more quiet than in England, so I can focus on England and I like it because in Italy top clubs are not moving on deadline day and the same in Spain, so I focus on English deals in particular. I wake up at 8 a.m. and I immediately start to send like a million of messages. I always send messages, always. I call people, I send messages, I am live on social media, on also my collaborations during the deadline day, but I'm always connected with, him, with my phone. Sometimes you have the crazy situation of the announcement. You say, why the club is not announcing the player? The deal is done. My sources are telling me the deal is done, everything is completed, and it's like 10 minutes, then it's, it's finished, and they have not announced anything because they are preparing the video, they are preparing the graphics, they are preparing everything. So also social media are having a role about it because like five years ago, you had the announcement on the website of the club. Okay, no problem, done deal. Punished. Now they have to prepare pictures, they have to prepare graphics, they have to prepare videos. Fans are buzzing, they are waiting for the video. But me as a journalist, I'm saying, okay, I need to have the announcement. It's not important about the video. I need the announcement because I said, here we go. I want the official announcement. So sometimes it takes time, but during the deadline day, really, I arrive at the midnight like I am destroyed. I'm destroyed, but I love the feeling immediately after, like saying, okay, it's finished. Today, relaxing. Tomorrow relaxing, sorry, but on the next week, let's restart about new contracts, next summer what's happening, I love it.
I love to to build the team. It's my is my favorite part. Obviously, I love transfers. So when I have transfer window open, I my friends always tell me when we play football manager, they tell me you are always concentrated on transfers. Always, you are always looking. Also, when the tra- the, the window is off, we are looking at the players, scouting players for next January, for next summer, because I o- always have the the feeling that I can have this some opportunity. I can discover some new talent. I love young players. Also going in crazy ways, also in small countries all over the world to find players in crazy countries is something fantastic. I know some people using Football Manager in football. I remember one time I had one of my friends here in Italy working for a small club here in Italy, but was moving to the Serie A. They have the fantastic way with this club. And he was discovering player in South America, looking at the players on Football Manager. And I told him, it's a fantastic story. And he said, no, 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 I don't want to share anything about it. It's my secret. So I'm using Football Manager, but don't say this to anyone. And I'm not naming him just because he told me it's my secret. But he was playing Football Manager. He was looking at a player in South America with Football Manager. And I remember he told me about one player who was playing in Uruguay in a small team in Uruguay, and he told me, look at this player, he's a new talent, he will become one of the best centre-backs in the world, and now, today, he is one of the best centre-backs in the world, and he discovered him on Football Manager. Playing Football Manager is like having something real. You have something real also in the control of the club. You can control everything. You can control the stadium, the press, the transfers, the pitch, the, the assistance. You can control the, the new talents. You can control the, 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 the academy of the club. You have everything, like in real life. And also when you talk with people in, 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 the, in the football world, they tell me, okay, football managers is, is real, like the same thing. Of, of the football world and that's why it's perfect it's not just a game it's real life it's a game but it's real life and that's why it's perfect